What's up gods on earth? This is Daimonic. Welcome to the channel one more time and today Bitcoin is pumping a little bit under 1%. The altcoins are getting hit pretty damn hard and yes guys we have four days leading up to the Bitcoin having a lot of momentum is coming to Bitcoin but what about the altcoins? Are they getting the, are they getting the same amount of love or are they getting a little bit less of love? We are going to look first at the Bitcoin dominance and yes guys on a Bitcoin dominance, we have formed a little bit of a double bottom, which is a very bullish indicator that they might see the Bitcoin dominance come over here and test this resistance at 69%. And provided that Bitcoin holds above 69%, we are going to see a 70 or 80% Bitcoin before the altcoins start pumping. Now, the altcoins, guys, the altcoins are in this double bearish scenario. Allow me to show you. Um, on the macro, on a big picture, we are forming sort of this inverted triangle, well, sort of this triangle formation, it's a triangle formation, and in the micro, we're forming a bear flag. Now, I personally believe that the altcoins will fall out of this bear flag into the downside before uh, the halving will push the price of Bitcoin up. That's a given. Bitcoin will always lead the market. That's that's a given. Now the altcoins follow Bitcoin. So when Bitcoin is pumping, the money, the proceeds, the the, the profits that the Bitcoin holders are making, they will diversify into altcoins. Obviously. So we will see I think the 80% Bitcoin dominance is not too far fetched. You know, you can see that we had 77% around this area. Um, and we had about 90% at this area, but you know, we're talking 2017 and this is this is Bull run territory. This was this was the craziest times, you know, so I think that it's very likely that this entire uh, Formation right here is a double bottom and we might see Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin's dominance Skyrocket all the way to these levels around here Which is very bullish for Bitcoin on another side note guys would you look at this mess 25 trillion in debt the us is just keeps printing and printing money like if bitcoin is the the leader in the cryptocurrency space we know the us is the leader on the fiat currencies of the world the leader so when when the fiat king the us dollar takes a tumble all the other fiat currencies are going to eat cock just the same and when the when the countries of the world are eating cock the people who hold their their money on their pockets will be eating dick that's just a, that's just what i what i know to be true but at the same time guys would you look at the the uk national debt as well over two trillion pounds in debt as well this is not good for the uk as well you know guys you know that every single other country on the world is on debt and it seems like this is the thinking of the bankers of the world. If you owe me a thousand pounds, then I'm worth a thousand pounds. Like, um, there's no... Uh, how can you even compute something this ridiculous? If I have gold, and you have gold, and I pay you with gold, then we both have the same currency. But when it comes to fiat currencies, you know that the dollar is worth less than the pound. You, lost, you know that the pound was way more than the Lebanese pound. So some of these currencies, they just worth nothing and some of them worth a lot. But what backs their currency? Debt. If you owe me a thousand pounds, I'm worth a thousand pounds. This is their thinking in their banking systems. And obviously guys, you that use their notes, their federal notes, what you have is a promissory note. It's just Somebody owes somebody some money and there's value in that, so I'm going to use their debt to buy me food or pay for my electricity or buy me a car or something like this. You know, there's no rhyme or reason to use this system. That's why I'm a firm believer in cryptocurrencies because I believe in raw value. If I'm making a trade, if I'm buying some food or if I'm buying a car or anything at all, I want you to be rewarded for your hard work with value. And I want to get something valuable in return. Now, if I have fiat and I'm giving you debt and buying you, buying your valuable, your, your crafts, your, your art, your design, your powerful 
you know, product. I'm taking something of value and I'm giving something to you that has no value whatsoever. So these this banking institutions who use their fiat currency to buy property, buy stocks, buy equities, it, it, it's theft. It's, it's, it's counterfeit and it's theft, you know? And people just don't understand that. Me as an African man, I, I grew up with a, with a, with a general distrust of European nations just because of historically. British, the British man went to India and stole a tremendous amount of wealth from the Indian man. The, the, the wealthy Indian nations that were in India at that time got robbed. You know, the UK went, took their money and built a fancy new country for themselves with their, with other people's value, other people's hard work. You know, you got the America, the American government and their foreign policy. They go to Iraq, they bomb that country, they build it back again with money that, that they print out of thin air and they make a killing. They go to Africa, they do the same thing. They kill people, they make money, and they, they take it back to their lands. But no, 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 you cannot do that forever because as people become more and more educated, your tricks won't work on every one of us. You got this guy who, who doesn't use your system. And I'm telling everybody in my family not to use your system. Because look, we are at a, a very key point in our history as 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 a as a race as a race of gods in on earth we will make a choice very soon we'll make a choice what is valuable and what is not valuable and the question is this our fiat currency is going to last the next 10 years i think they won't this decade they will fall this decade they will all fall and by the end of this decade, we're going to have a cryptocurrency as a global currency of the world. And it's not even a belief. I'm sure. I'm 100% sure that by the end of this decade, cryptocurrencies will succeed and they will eradicate the fiat currencies of the world. And let me tell you something. These corrupt institutions like the banks, if you think that you're going to get forgiven for your sins, you, are, you have another thing coming. Look what happened to Lebanon. People are torching torching their, their banks you know when it comes to the UK and they start doing this in the UK you think they're just gonna torch banks they're gonna hang bankers they're gonna hang those fuckers and hey that's that's all I'm saying it's not gonna be good for you if you're in the business of taking people's money then you are you have another thing coming you have another thing coming moving on guys let's just look at the meme of the day and end the video on a positive note um well i'm gonna choose this one right here i told him to buy bitcoin and he said his financial advisor <laughs> advised him not to <laughs> you can't look the amount of people that i've told them yo buy bitcoin before the having and they and they don't listen to me they just go i, I don't know you know because because warren buffett just said is red poison or they go oh because donald trump said is is based on thin air. If anything is based on thin air, it's fiat currency. All right. You, th there's no money printer for Bitcoin. There's a money printer for fiat currency. I mean, whatever, guys. Whatever. That's all the same, man. We are eleven easy to technology. I want to close this video right here. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you want to. And all, as always, guys, do what you like. But remember. If you are in the cryptocurrency, 11 years into the technology, put your shades on like Matrix because you know what? Our future is too bright. So let's carry on and look good. So see you later, guys.